Many Americans are feeling the financial strain due to the coronavirus pandemic. And local charities are also stretched thin, trying to help all the people in need in South Florida. CBS 4's Dave Warren has more. It's a scene that's been playing out for months now and likely will be for months to come. Food distributions like this one in Miramar, seeing longer lines. Even before COVID, we saw that lines were coming through. So now that COVID is here, the lines continuously wrap around. It's also been a challenge to supply local charities. Greg Bales founded Morning Day Community Solutions 10 years ago. He offers goods to charities at a discount. And at a time like this, they need it more than ever. They're not getting as much money, as much funds as they need to sustain their operations. But in addition to that, the general public needs a lot more help. But he says his donations have gone up. Many retailers close, so their goods end up at his warehouses. The stores close down. So there again, they have all of this additional surplus. So on that side, from a donation point of view, it's actually been good for us. He stretched out Giving Tuesday to last all months. Charities all receive a $50 credit they can use to purchase those supplies at close to 70% off. Another charity working through the COVID challenges is Make-A-Wish. COVID has obviously dealt us some, some blows in terms of wish granting. They put our wishes on hold. They haven't canceled them. It's Richard Kelly. He's with Make-A-Wish. He granted it. Sloan's wish for a new playground set, but says a lot of wishes have been put on hold or been changed from travel wishes to gift wishes. We're here ready to grant those wishes whenever they're uh, safe to do so. Meaning others may just have to wait for moments like these. Dave Warren, CBS 4 News.